Hey everybody, Tim Cast here. And fake news, once again, the topic of discussion because we have a huge problem right now. A massive story is being circulated, shared by everyone that is entirely fake news. And you may have heard it. This story is called Russia Hacks the US Election. And that is a fake news story. Now I know a lot of you might be saying, but 17 intelligence agencies have confirmed this. And I am not going to leave you without evidence and understanding of what is actually going on. So first, I will say it, Russia in no way hacked the US election. These headlines that you're seeing across the board from all of these big news websites are exaggerations. And sometimes they're downright fake news. Other times they're the opinions of people who are probably not qualified to be speaking on the subject. Let me tell you what we're actually talking about in the situation of Russia and hacking. According to the evidence that we have, it is believed that a group called Fancy Bear hacked into the private email of John Podesta using a social engineering technique. This basically means they tricked John Podesta into handing over his password. They took his emails and gave them to WikiLeaks. WikiLeaks then published them. And apparently the goal was to undermine Hillary Clinton and prop up political support for Donald Trump. That may have happened. The evidence we have does not say it definitively did happen, but it suggests maybe that is the case. Now, there's a private security company that believes this group Fancy Bear is working directly for the Russian government. It's a whole lot of maybes. Nothing is for sure. So then the question is, why are all of these news organizations saying definitively that Russia hacked the US election? It's very dangerous to do so when even these own news organizations are putting out evidence contrary to what their headline actually is. What are the consequences of this? Well, for one, a YouGov poll shows that 52% of Democrats believe that Russia actually manipulated vote tallies in order to get Donald Trump elected. Absolutely not true. But when you inundate people over and over again with a headline with the lead saying that Russia hacked the US election, they're gonna start believing that's the case. And that's not true. And this goes a little bit deeper because now I'm seeing hundreds of people marching out on the street protesting, demanding an investigation into Russia's hacking of the US election. We're seeing the president impose sanctions on Russia. We're seeing the president expel diplomats from the United States and tensions between the United States and Russia are escalating. All because of exaggerated fake news coming directly from large distributors, mainstream news companies, and it is irresponsible, it is disingenuous, and to those who are doing it deliberately, it is reprehensible, it is manipulation. There's a great article from The Intercept that breaks down the actual evidence over what is going on with the whole Russia election hacking thing. And when you look through it, you can clearly see that, for one, it never actually states Russia as a government was involved. And the evidence itself is a bit loose and doesn't really prove much, though it does suggest something may have happened. We can actually look at the evidence and say, okay, that headline is a bit of an exaggeration, or it's wrong, or it's fake news. And it's important that we're able to do so. But it's also kind of scary when you realize that there are so many other news stories in which you can't do that, and you take the word of the journalist as fact. I can't say why they do it. I can't say that some people are lazy, some people are just bad at their jobs, and others are just trying to manipulate you. To all those who watch my channel, I appreciate the trust you have in me. It's still worth a double check or looking into these things, and I will do my best to present to you factual information to help improve your understanding of the world and your life. So if that's something you do appreciate, I wanna say thank you all so much for watching. We're gonna leave it at that. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. You can find me on Twitter at TimCast. Stay tuned, every Tuesday, 8 p.m. Eastern, I'm gonna be on the Busker app doing a live show talking about a lot of these topics. You can join in, comment. So you can go to busker.co, download the app, and hang out. Uh, I might move this to Sunday nights around 8 p.m. as well because I think Sunday's a little bit easier for everybody. Check it out, join in the chat, and we'll have a real conversation about a lot of these issues. Again, thank you all so much for watching. Stay tuned, more videos to come. I will see you all next time.